listen up. It's just in. All the gossip. gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The, the Breakfast, Breakfast Club. Well, at the 75th Golden Globe Awards last night, there were a lot of firsts. Oprah was the first black woman to win the Cecil B. DeMille Award for her lifetime achievement. Mm -hmm. And she gave a speech that everybody is talking about today. Here's part of that speech for you. Speaking your truth is the most powerful tool we all have. And I'm especially proud and inspired by all the women who have felt strong enough to speak up and share their personal stories. Each of us in this room are celebrated because of the stories that we tell. And this year, we became the story. But it's not just a story affecting the entertainment industry. It's one that transcends any culture, geography, race, religion, politics, or workplace. Amazing speech. I was sitting there with my 10-year-old niece and 9-year-old daughter watching that. I felt like a collection plate needed to be passed around after hearing her speak. Now, Oprah Winfrey also talked about Reese Taylor. She's a civil rights figure who was abducted and raped by six white men in Alabama back in 1944. She just passed away in December. She was 97 years old. And she talked about the Me Too movement and the Time's Up. That was the theme for last night. You saw a lot of women were wearing all black. A lot of men were wearing the Time's Up pin to help commemorate the theme for the evening. And and Time's Up is more than just, uh, you know, wearing all black, but it also was a protest and they were already uh, also raising money. They raised more than $15 million and the goal of that is a defense fund for victims of sexual misconduct in the workplace. All right, here's some more of Oprah from last night. So I want all the girls watching here and now to know that a new day is on the horizon. And when that new day finally dawns, it will be because of a lot of magnificent women and some pretty phenomenal men fighting hard to make sure that they become the leaders who take us to the time when nobody ever has to say, me too, again. I know one thing, when Oprah said time's up, it felt like when I was a kid and my father would yell for me to come here, and at first you shook. Because mm -hmm. you're not sure if you did nothing or not, but then you realize you're good because you didn't do nothing. Right. That's how I felt. Now, <laughs> some other firsts last night were for Aziz Ansari. He was the first Asian-American actor to win for Best Leading Performance in a TV comedy from Master of None, which he's a co-creator for also. Mm -hmm. And Sterling K. Brown, he picked up his award for his role in This Is Us. He's the first black actor to win a Golden Globe for Best Actor in a TV Drama. Now, check out his speech. Throughout the majority of my career, I have benefited from colorblind casting, which means, you know what, like, hey, let's throw a brother in this role, right? But Dan Fogelman, you wrote a role for a black man that could only be played by a black man. And so what I appreciate so much about this thing is that I'm being seen for who I am and being appreciated for who I am. And it makes it that much more difficult to dismiss me or dismiss anybody who looks like me. So thank you, Dan. Thank you, Hollywood Forum Press. Peace. I'm not thanking the white man for finally waking up. I'm thanking the white man for finally doing what he should have been doing all of these years, which is writing diverse roles. Not doing that. Knock it off. Well, Sterling K. Brown can say whatever he wants in his speech. You know, he was adopted by a white family also. And he talked about feeling like he wasn't really part of mm -hmm, the family. Yeah. All right. Well, just just a weird feeling of being a black man adopted by a white family. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. Hey, hey, hey. The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning, tune in.